So just joined by Matty Bloor this evening. Um, Terry is elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> elsewhere. Um, so uh, fans Q&A this evening. Um, also just a chance for us to catch up. We've not had a, a catch up for a little while. So um, yeah, just uh, since our last home game over a month ago, uh, we've had some high scoring encounters, a 4-2 away to Bridtown, a 2-2 draw in the cup against Liversedge, and a 4-1 defeat, uh, unfortunately, at Grimsby Borough. Um, talking to some of the fans around the club, we've been told that many of these games could very easily have gone our way. Is that uh, how you'd also summarise the last month? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think it's just been a, a season, a season really off fine margins. You know, if you look at the, 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 the results um, as a whole, even in the games that we've, we've lost, and the games that we've won, but not necessarily been a massive difference in performance. I actually think performance wise have been very consistent throughout, throughout the full year. Um, just maybe at, at times, you know, we've got a really young squad. I think I mentioned in the programme that was on Saturday, I think the, the average age of the squad away at Grimsby Borough was 21. If you took, took yourself out the equation and, and, and Sarri sat on the bench, uh, you know, 21. So and a lot of lads even playing for the first year at this level or, or playing regularly. For the first time at this level, so you know, I think the the, the last piece of the jigsaw really is something that we can't sort of control as as, as managers, as coaches. I think it really just comes down to sort of experience. You know, those little moments of maybe lapses of concentration or ruthlessness that we talk about in both boxes. I, th I think what we're asking of people, I think that they are doing. Um, you know, no one intentionally loses concentration or. Um, that only comes with experience, you know, s s sniffing out different situations. You can't sniff a situation until you've seen it and for have perhaps maybe conceded a goal or, or whatever to know how to react differently next time. So as long as as long as I keep on saying to all the all the players, you know, that we're that we're looking to develop, as, as long as you, you learn and you listen of, of where you potentially went wrong and you can put it right the week after, then then that's fine. But you know, I think if you look at it, we're, we're beating teams in and around us, which is great. But I think the next the next stage result is we've got we've got to go beat someone who's in that top top six. If we're if we're going to be a top six side, which maybe is a bit unrealistic, but it's still aiming for that. As as well, me and Terry are aiming for that. You know, we've got to beat teams who who have potentially got that same aspiration. And we haven't we haven't done that yet. But like I said to the players, if we can, you know, stay in around in and around like what we're doing and we're learning all the time, and we can keep the group together. And, not get distracted by what other people are doing or what other people are saying. I think, I think we'll, we'll do all right this season, you know. And, and I, you know, we don't really want to obviously go on about last season, but from where we are now compared to last season, it is, is a massive, massive improvement. But there's still lots of lots of improvement to, to, to do. So, yes, in in, in one sense, um, those games were close and could have gone either way, but ultimately they, they didn't. Um, and and I always say at the end of the season, the, the league table doesn't lie. And we um, can't keep saying it every week. Say this to the lads, we can't keep saying it every week. We're there or thereabouts, and we maybe should have, because any, any manager can say that. You know, it's how, it's not, we you know it's not why, it's how can we put it right. Um, and we believe that it is that. You know, even on Saturday, we had a, a quite a thin squad. We had, again, lads playing out of position. Lads who still need to get fit and uh, get fitter. Um, so, that was the pleasing thing, but yeah, I think to summarise, we've been in games, but that's not that's not an excuse. Also, we haven't won them games for a reason. And I think uh, the missing piece of jigsaw is just you just experience, you know, keep it concentrated for full ninety minutes. I think I've um, heard you before in interviews mentioning about like those sort of fine moments, and I suppose it was only uh, speaking from my own experience, only really since I've been filming matches and then editing and doing the highlights that you realise. In a 90 minute match, there's maybe only like less than 10 clutch moments in both halves. Absolutely. And uh, you can end up with like a 10 minute highlights package of a 90 minute game. And you realise it's sort of 80 minutes in a match meanders, and then yeah. there's these crucial moments. And I guess that's where you just want to be a little bit better. And the, and the top teams and the top players uh, are in that moment. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever your game is, whether it's a goal scorer, whether it's a goal stopper, whether it's a midfielder who, 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 who could just get boxed, you know. The, the top team and the top players thrive on those key moments. You know, and you look at what what is probably easy to relate to because everybody watches. If you look at the Premier League, you look, you look at Liverpool at the minute, they're winning every week, but they're not necessarily playing well. But in key moments, yeah. they're solid at the back and they've got a lot of goals and, and they've got a front three who, who 
even when they don't play well, seem to score. So, and, and in between that, they've got a midfield who, who works absolute bollocks off and, and um, probably takes a brunt, a lot of the brunt for the rest of the team and, and all the rest of it. So, that's football from step, you know, step 10 to, to Premier League in a nutshell, isn't it? You know, but there's a reason, there's a reason that the uh, teams do well because they have those players and, and we can't go cherry pick them players for having to develop them, mm-hmm. you know, having to to coach it into them. On, so on that note, happy with like generally squad numbers at training, happy with how that's yeah, going? Yeah, we spoke about before and, and I think everyone knows the financial situation of goal. We, we're not we're not one of the bigger spending clubs, so far from it. Um so we ain't got a position even if even if someone's not playing well, it's not right you're out the door, it's come on, sit down for three or four, speak to it after each game, you know, we'll talk you through where you're going wrong and, and we'll give you another chance. It's not you didn't play well today or you are out the door. It's not that's not how we'll work. It's not really how I want to be as a manager. One, I ain't got that luxury in terms of managers, but two, that's not how I don't want to be known as that. I want to be known as a as a manager that sort of takes everything week by week. Not and, and looks at the, the bigger picture as opposed to just right. Well, you you didn't play well today, so you don't play for me again. It doesn't work like that. From a coaching aspect as well, you've got there's got to be a certain element of pride in seeing the player develop and grow. And Absolutely, and we've largely got players, and I've said it before to yourself, and it's not a criticism or a uh, or sort of knocking the current players down. A lot more playing last year at this level. So that's in itself is a is a sort of proud moment for myself and sit and ninth, Terry, yeah, yeah, yeah. To think that you know, these players won't play all we're playing in poorer teams and, and look what we've put together. So so it is, yeah, and, and, and it is very, very hard for me, to be honest, at the minute, because I am trying to balance two roles at once, you know, it's hard managing yourself throughout the week in terms of your own fitness and your own injuries and, and all the rest of it, as well as everything else that comes with management and match days and so it, it, it is hard how, how, how long that role can carry on for, I don't know, because it is, it, is, it is a lot to do and it is yeah. stressful. Uh, but, you know, whilst, whilst, whilst I can still influence things playing-wise on a Saturday, I always will play. Um, but yeah, as a, as a coach, I think it's, I think it's and particularly as well, at this level, you don't get a massive amount of time. So probably some people think, oh, we're we'll turning on after a game, but it's, that's the only clubs you've only got a class, you know, after a game, before a game, at time, and then a bit before training, during training, after they don't see them for three or four days before, before a match day, so... Not long to get your message across. Not long to get your message across, and, and, but we do, we do a lot of talking, a lot of coaching, and that's where we want to be. Good stuff. So, uh, obviously, fresh in everyone's mind, this Saturday's chaotic win, shall we say. Uh, 4-2 over Eccles, Eccles Hill. Um, match or questionable decision after questionable decision uh, by the man in the middle. Uh, there was a goal chalked off for offside despite the affi- uh, uh, assistant keeping his flag down, which was a bit confusing. Uh, penalty awarded against us for not really a great deal. Uh, great save, by the way, onto the bar. Uh, two of our players sent off. Um, we've heard on the fans' forum uh, certain spectators have described the performance of the referee as totally inept and one of the worst officiating, officiating performances they'd ever seen. Uh, with that in mind, how proud of the players are you that they were able to go on and win in such tricky circumstances? Definitely. I think we've shown a lot of, a lot of times this season, quite a lot of character, you know, and to come from behind or be in front and, and be under the caution and then go on and win a game. Um, yes, anyone who was there sat there will, will know the bizarre circumstances that, that, was, uh, that was occurring. Which was, which was, I'm still lost for sort of words on what I, what I witnessed, but there you go. Um, yeah, we did, we, we carried on going, didn't we? We stuck together, we stuck to this task, we, we had a game plan um, that did slightly change at, at half time. Um, but, but yeah, there is, there is lads, there is lads with a lot of, with, like I say, developing character in there, you know, and, and we've got a lot of, a lot of people who are desperate to win football matches, mm. so. With the with the two red cards, obviously uh, there'll be a couple of suspensions, no doubt, uh, unless they're overturned. Um, but that will give an opportunity, presumably, to a couple of the fringe players. What are you looking for from them? It it will. But I'll be I'll be sort of very honest at the minute. With, you know, this level of football, we're going into crazy season that way socially. Uh, we've got a lot missing. We've got a lot missing. We've got a lot missing. 
every week you've got the three or four missing, we've got three or four missing again this week through through socials, we've got uh, injuries, we've got suspensions. We are we are in the process, I am speaking we are speaking to a couple of pro clubs at the minute to see if we can we can borrow a couple uh, a couple of conference uh, north teams to see if we can borrow a couple. Um, we've got to get some bodies in the building, you know, not prepared to be like last season when we're going and Terry's having to get his boots on again, maybe certainly, I don't know, but um, that's probably where he is now, <laughs> running on the running track outside. But uh, yeah, there's, there's opportunities for people to come in, they're always welcome, but I said it, I said it from pre-season, you know, not, not one here needs to play 45, 50 games, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, to be successful you've got to use your squad. Yeah. Um, but I, I wouldn't say for, for me there's any fringe players that I mean, it's an equal opportunity out there for everybody. You know, everyone's got their own strengths, everyone's got their own weaknesses. And uh, there'll be opportunities Saturday for sure, isn't it? However, like it's cliche, isn't it? But whoever gets that opportunity, just, just keep the shirt. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Matt, uh, Reggie, rather, um, one November player of the month, as voted for by the fans on the fans forum. Uh, just a quick word on his performances of late and more generally, sort of how he fits into plans. Yeah, I mean, you know, Reggie come from come from Hall Road last season with with mixed mixed reviews. Um, not sort of on a as much on a football sense, but um, off the field and all the rest of it. And, and you know, I'm not here to change people. But I'm only here to judge people on a on a football sense. And he's been he's been great since he came in. I thought he started the season well. Um, and I think he, he went away. And, he lost a lot of fitness and, and I think he really struggled, uh, you know, and probably the first to admit, I think he struggled for a good few weeks. Um, but to be fair to him, he's turned up to training every week, he's, he's, he's got his head down and he's, he has deserved, you know, he's, he come on against Prince, scored two goals and he's, he's deserved his opportunity. He's, he's taken it, you know, so great that he's one, one player of the month, but, you know, for me, I still think there's more to get. I think he needs to, you know, I'm saying to him, he needs to keep on trying to listen. You know, I know that he's 18 and I don't want to take it out of him in that sort of rawness because that's what will make him a good player and what, what makes him a good player he's still got to, he's still got to listen um, and I think his, his, his father will admit that he's been trying to change that for 18 years so I don't know if I'm going to change it in, in three months but you know he does and he does and, and he will improve and he will get better so yeah well done for him to win that but I still think there's more to come from him really. Okay. And um, obviously uh, there's a, a fairly newly formed girls team, I believe. Um, yeah. uh, I don't know if they have a set age group or if it's a sort of varying ages, but nice to see that the clubs expand in and uh, put in a bit into youth. Of course, yeah, absolutely. When, when me and Terry took, took, took the job, you know, this, this... So forget the football inside wasn't in a good position, but the club wasn't, was it? It was just now a good feel about the club. The club felt like it was on, totally on its knees. It just, you know, everything about it, you know, off the field and on the field, and. and sort of made it an ambition of ours, myself and Terry got to just work on the first team, but you know, to get people back involved, that we need to be back involved in the club, on a volunteering level, or like Graham, the kit man, and, and, and Ben, the physio, and you know, the, the, the whole lot's got to be right, you know, I know there's been a lot of, a lot of confrontation began between the council, the rugby, this, that, and the other, but you know, we all are, whether, whether we get frustrated or appear to be frustrated, we all want the best for goal they see, and I think ultimately things like girls sides, you know, potentially youth sides as we move on and Rome won't build in a day, oh, we know that, but this, this whole the whole town's gotta to get behind the football club. I don't mean just behind the first team, you know, behind the behind the full lot. Because you've got a bit of a sleeping giant really, really here at goal. You know, it's not like in the middle of Leeds where you've got a lot, a lot of clubs. You haven't you've got an opportunity here to really build something that the, that the town can be proud of. Yeah. So um that's sort of really uh, most of the questions I have uh, in terms of a catch up and trying to understand a little bit what your thinking is on, on how we are at the minute as a club. Uh, some of the fans have sent in some questions via various social media platforms and we'll just uh, burst through a few of these. Yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure who sent this one, whether it was um, Max Barwick or <laughs> perhaps his dad, but um, we want to know who's got the freshest trim in the squad. The freshest or the worst? Uh, we'll go for freshest first. Right, freshest. I think Dev, Dev, Dev likes to throw a few in the mix, don't he, with his call <laughs> roll and all that. I'm not, it's, you know, it's, it's uh, to be decided, to be decided how, how good that looks. I think he thinks it looks great, but I'm not so sure on that. Uh, and worse? I'll give it three, I'll tell you, you know, it's not even comparison. No, no competition, it's uh, hands down. 
worst or what he's got left of it. So yeah, I forgot to tell you that one. So we've got the um, squad Christmas party coming up, I believe, shortly. Yeah. Uh, who's the lo- most likely man to be uh, last man standing on the night? Last man, of course. And right. equally uh, unable to hack the pace? Um, Louis Stannard. Ooh. And Graham wants to know, really it's a question for Tez, but as you're, uh, you're here, I'll ask you. Graham wants to know if Santa's going to be likely to be bringing Tez a watch for Christmas, as Graham is sick of oh, being no, arsed. Yeah, I'm sick of telling him myself. <laughs> yeah. so that tight, he's that tight, he just won't, he just won't. Have a whip round for him, mate. So, yeah, I might have to have a whip round, maybe. <laughs> If you fans are chucking a few 50p, they might treat themselves. Uh, ben Greasley wants to know who's the best looking player. Definitely not Ben. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Ugly side, I like really ugly side. side. Pride yourself know. on that, maybe. Yeah. Um, Andrew has asked, Terry and Matt, who would you say is the biggest joker in the squad? Biggest joker? Uh, do you know what? We all, we all walk in and we all have a laugh together. I think me and Terry like to try and get it all, all going for everybody. Um, I don't think anyone takes themselves too seriously. I'm probably the most serious when it has to be serious, but you know, I was like the freaking ticking for a game and stuff, I like the laughing and joke. So, I don't know, to be fair, all, all the lads like to get stuck in on the, on the banter side. And Finley has asked, do you think the promotion is likely or is it too early to say? Too early to say, but if, I'm, if you want a, a totally honest answer, too early to say this season, but I think too early just for the club. You know, you, you can't go from the, the from the mess that we was in as a football club and as a club, you know, playing side and non-playing side, it'd be too much of a jump too So You know, the, the, the next level up is a big step, you know, both financially and, and player-wise and all the rest of it. I think content with what we're building, you know, I think it's important we get our foothold a bit, a bit in this league first and, and, and start to build that way. Because at the end of the day, you, you can grow and you can improve, but you can also do it too quick. And, and I think this season's about just getting ourselves back on the map and just getting ourselves back on a football club that does things the right way, management team that does things the right way, and, and fans who want to come and watch a, you know, a proper side, both entertaining football but also winning football. So, you know, I'm not saying that we're not aiming for it, we are, we have to win every single game. But I think if we're all realistic and we all sat down the room, we'd probably all disagree, it'd be a bit too soon for the football club, really. Okay, doke. Well, thank you uh, from my point of view to the fans for sending in the questions, uh, and uh, I'll let you get on with training. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. Right there. Yes.